so off grid warrior this is the winter shelter hut I had a few questions on how exactly I built it. I know I didn't do a good job documenting. Basically, I've been rushing up here trying to get it done. Haven't been worrying about filming too much because I only started this two weekends ago. We could literally have snow at any time. We could have had snow two weeks ago. Um, so I've been rushing up here just to get things done. So a quick little overview on what I've done here. Um, Everything you see uh, has been hand cut. I had a couple guys ask me about power tools. There's no ways I'm carrying up power tools here. Um, between an axe, this big boy silky here, which I absolutely love and would highly recommend. Between an axe, that, and a smaller silky, I have a 21 inch a silky, which is right over here, this little guy. Um, that's how I've cut and processed all this wood. All of it's been dragged from about uh, four, 500 feet up that there mountain. Uh, you can see I've got a started off with a ridge pole. The ridge pole over here is dug somewhat into the ground. Got a little bit of a raised bank over here. I do have rocks in it around the base of that ridge pole. Ridge pole goes up. Uh, let's take a walk over here. You can see um, a little bit of a front view over there. And uh, right here I'm going to have a fire pit right over there. And so looking at the inside, I know this might be difficult to see, but I have some support and a support A-frame over here coming up. All right, that's right here in the front. Those A-frame bases are dug in probably about a foot. Also, there is a base of rock at the bottom of that footing. Um, they were then tied. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. They're tied up at the top there, right around the ridge pole, and then sandwiched and brought in using some rope techniques, sucked in together. They're not going anywhere. You can see these um, horizontals over here have all been tied using paracord. <laughs> A lot of paracord has been used here. Okay, same on the other side. Yes, there's a lot of cleaning up to do and neatening up, but let me tell you, it's uh, been a bit of a rush to get this done. So, paracords then tied the horizontals to the vertical A-frames over here. We have another one back. Let's head in. Hopefully folks can see. There you can see, again, tied. Just mega paracord everywhere you look. Right now I'm working on closing up the back over there. And that's the basic structure inside. I will also tell you that I've been using some lichen or moss, or actually in this area we call it witch's hair, and that is sandwiched in between the logs over here. And um, I should tell you folks that if you're in a, an area that rains a lot, um, this is not the ideal way to build a shelter like this if you're worried about rain uh, water because what happens is as the rain hits these logs the water is going to travel to the lowest point and what's it going to want to do it's going to want to head into the log so rain comes down and once they're hidden there even though I have this lichen in here um, it's still going to get damp water is still going to get through and you're going to have drips inside. The best way to do these sort of shelters is really with vertical logs like this. I just wanted to try something different. Um, that way the water has a better way just to travel down and uh, to the base in a way. Um, but you know, sometimes I just do things a little differently. So you can see I've used some moss on the top over here on the ridge cap. And this is also just to uh, help shed uh, water off and you know, this is more about being a shelter for snow than it is for rain um, so There you go Basically, I have one more afternoon to get this done I have had some help and without that help I will say it's would have probably taken me double the time uh, It takes a bit of time to uh, cut and drag logs and tie all these knots and uh, having some help has definitely been great so There you go. That is the winter shelter hut uh, right now, I gotta get going. Uh, like I said, I've got one more afternoon. We've got to wrap it up. Looks like next weekend we might have our first snow. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.